I remember many moons ago, I started reviewing Stephen King's Dark Tower series and I reviewed book one, The Gunslinger. Finally got around to reading book two, The Drawing of the Three. And uh, obviously spoilers for the first book in the series and obviously minor spoilers for the book, the second book in the series, this one we're reviewing right now. So if you remember at the end of Gunslinger, he had this sit down talk parlay thing with the man in black who had been chasing throughout the book. The man in black drew some cards and it was basically prophesied that the gunslinger would need to draw three people, three acquaintances, three companions, if you will, on his travel. And uh, this book is all about that. The gunslinger comes across three doors which only open to him and uh, he draws out of these doors his three companions. Uh, the first door is the prisoner, the second door is the lady, the third door is the pusher. The first door, the prisoner, opens up onto the world of 1980s New York and it's Eddie Dean, junkie and criminal and he's trying to smuggle some drugs from customs airports, customs at the airport. The second door opens up onto Odetta Holmes who is a civil rights activist in the 1960s New York and she's conflicted, she suffers from a schizophrenia of some sort but she doesn't know that she has schizophrenia, her two personalities do not know each other, have never met and the third door opens up onto Jack Malt who is a sadistic serial killer and he is stalking the boy, Jake, that we met in the first book, who died at the end of the first book because the gunslinger left him to die. And the themes around the book, constantly themes of morality. He's reflecting on his actions in the previous book in the series and his his guilt of letting Jake die and his, his realisation that even the companions that he's pulling out of these doors, that they're probably going to die as well and he's leading them to their death and he will just carry on with his quest for the tower and of course questions of what is this dark tower that he's chasing it's the, it's the focus of the series is it an afterlife of some sort is it a metaphor for consciousness and mortality and morality or is it something quite literal quite quite literally a dark tower so it's not quite obvious yet and more questions are emerging we get a little bit some more details of Roland's past as well for instance, the fact that he turned his gun on one of his fellow gunslingers. So a few more questions are coming up in terms of what happened in Roland's past. Why is he the last one of his kind? Why is he the last gunslinger? What happened to the rest of them? We know it was a time of instability, a time of revolution and war. We don't know exactly what happened. So I dare say in a later book that will be delved into more. But it's opening up, fleshing out the world a little bit in this book here. And in different eras... Stephen King handles them brilliantly. You see the prejudice towards black people, towards homosexuals and the like throughout all three eras and the different attitudes people had towards people of different sexuality, different races, etc. In those eras, even disabilities, you see the prejudice, you see the mindset of the people who belong to those eras. Obviously, there's loads of action in this one, loads of gunfights and car chases and all that kind of thing going on. And it's very fascinating how Stephen King is very good with his characters and he makes you develop a, a, a liking for these characters. You take Eddie Dean, the first the first person with the, that he encounters when he opens the first door. He's a junkie. He wants to smuggle some drugs through, through some customs. Your immediate reaction is he's just a drugs mule. He's, an, he's, you know, he's a scumbag, if you will. And ultimately, by the end of the book, you're quite attached to Eddie Dean. The same with... Odetta Holmes, who has this split personality. The other character is Detta Holmes, or Detta Walker, should I say, sorry. She's the, she's the psychotic evil witch, murder, not murderer, but psychotic evil stealing beast of woman that, that is quite vulgar, and she is quite violent, and she is arguably an antagonist for a large portion of the book and then by the end I won't spoil anything for you guys but by the end there's a twist and you end up almost admiring Detta Walker and obviously he draws his three out of this out of these doors and he goes on his journey and it, who knows what's coming next we don't know and I think that's the whole point Stephen King doesn't want to give everything away at once he wants to drip feed us bit by bit little bits of the story the background what happened to Roland Gillied uh, Roland, the chain of Gilead, sorry. What happened in his past? Why has he lost Gunslinger? What is the Dark Tower? And in the afterword of the book, Stephen King himself says, what is the Dark Tower? Do I know? He says, yes, I know, and no, I don't. So I think it's largely metaphorical. I think it will have a physical presence as well. 
but go ahead and pick it up. That was Stephen King, Drawing of the Three, Book Two of the Dark Tower series. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.